What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Show. I'm AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with This is the Police. I'm not sure if we're going to finish the game in this video, but I have a feeling we're getting close to the end here. Um, I'm really planning on finishing up this game in this session. I really don't have much else to say. Let's go. All right, city heating uh, interruptions to continue until spring. Hearing pop star Alana Moraes bribes police after petty theft. Programmer in 30 years, machines will rule the world. Fantastic. Yeah, sure. No. No. Batinsky. Yeah, fine. No. So what? I have anxiety attacks all the time, and I'm still expected to go to work. Lazy bastard. <laughs> it's not even a joke. <laughs> and we'll share 50% with the staff. Uh, our inspection turned up multiple violations, which are undoubtedly uh, contribu uh, contributing to the series to climb the place. Uh, the place will be Jesus. If you require further clarification, uh, or if you wish to appeal this decision, please send a formal request to the mayor. You will receive an answer within 200 business days. Jesus Christ, look at all that. was doing so well with my bank account and it's all gone. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I have a feeling that the, uh, what is it? I, I have a feeling that the, you know, the having to make fi uh, $500,000 isn't as important anymore, seeing that, you know, his wife left and that was the entire reason that we were apparently trying to make that money. So I guess the, the money itself really doesn't matter anymore. Uh, Mr. Boy, Japanese star Ebisawa Sukiyasu is coming to the city and his agents asked us to provide protection to meet uh, and meet the athlete at an honorary uh, ceremony. Sukiyasu has tons of fan from his uh, films and TV series about uh, police and his support is uh, and his support for the real cops could go a long way. Send my lowest ranked cops. Granted, I only have three others, but what can you do? We've already established I'm I'm just in a terrible position. So okay, nobody I can bring in from the labor department. Well, yeah, can I? Uh... Eleven, eleven, Political views. Dismiss anyone you want. Hire a stitch. Yeah, I'm seeing if there's a way I can... Oh, now I understand the point of the secret account. Ah, okay. I understand now. Large group of students uh, is relaxing on the beach, smoking marijuana and taking pills. I understand. I could have sent my. I could have put my money in that account and not lost it. Okay. I I now understand what. Uh, this is a solid guy he treated us like heroes. Plus, he gave us some really expensive stuff, like it was nothing. All right, not bad. See, I've always kind of wondered what that, that secret account thing was exactly. Now I understand. Uh, this month's internship was a lot of fun. The other guys and me were constantly running out uh, the back entrance for smoke breaks. But after we got caught, the door was nailed shut. After that, they started using the corridor more like a warehouse. I'm guessing that's what three is, which is the back door. So I'm guessing I shouldn't send somebody there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that's a smarter decision. Yeah, I'm still waiting for all that to like kind of ramp up and we actually get to this assault. Because oh, I want to see how well my planning has worked. 11, 11. Uh, the park is hosting a massive pillow fight today. Last year, two girls were killed in the heat of the excitement. Jesus. And it can't look like we're doing uh, not doing anything about it. You'll need to provide police present. Uh, well, okay. I'd love to, but I... Because, you know, nobody loves... Uh, Love saucy pillow fights as much as I, as much as me, but I don't have anybody to send. Ten eleven a in progress. Uh, a man claims uh, that he attached a stick of dynamite to his cat and sent it into the train station. <laughs> Well done, game. Well done. Damn it, I don't have time to wait for the rest of them. Uh, Mr. Soldado. In an uneven voice, uh, reported an ongoing riot near his home. I see from my window a crowd of vile, half-naked midgets from hell. Ra <laughs> I'm sorry. But just the image of vile, half-naked midgets from hell just... Oh, it just puts a smile on my face. Uh, there's quite a lot of people at the train station. and gender is mopping the floor. There's no sign of the cat in the area. See, <laughs> here, kitty, kitty. Begin to evacuate the site. The police uh, start a panic and run amok. Some slip and fall on the wet floor. Big cat jumps on a windowsill. There's something strapped to its spot. <laughs> Shoot the cat! Jesus! Well, we tried. I don't know, I thought luring it with a burger was a smart plan. Apparently it was not. <laughs> Infernal dwarfs. <laughs> oh man, that's funny to me. That's great. Freeberg left expectancy falls 6%. Astronomer, unique solar eclipse coming. Atticus Tower invites public to view solar eclipse. You know, I kind of feel bad. I was planning on, uh, after I finished this up tonight, I was gonna, um, keep playing the beta for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Kind of ran into a small problem of, uh, I think the beta's done now. It was over when I got back from, you know, I went to bed and no matter what, I wasn't going to be able to keep playing it because, you know, I kind of had to sleep from getting back from work. It's one of those things that kind of sucks, but what can I do? The members of two rival gangs previously had, previously had an agreement uh, to share power in the area, but the peace has been violently broken down. A fight erupted involving over three dozen gang members, many of whom are carrying knives and clubs, even firearms. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Are all 
these deaths because of that. Um, if anybody remembers that moment where I messed with my uh, my department's gas? Like, I don't think that's what's causing all the all the um all the all the car crashes. But it's the only thing I can think of right now. Or maybe it's the snow during this time of the year. I I don't know. Uh, the past few years, there's been a lot of tension in the mayor's office. They got so paranoid that they fired me after I forgot to use uh, both locks on the back door. Trouble is, there's no security guard back there. They put them all at the main entrance by the medical detectors uh, while all the important people use the back door for convenience. It's a large, heavy door, highly fortified, but you could take it down if you had the right tools. From there, you could access the entire building. Ooh, okay. So actually, I think I'm going to take these guys and send them to the back door. Not sure about this guy. But yeah, I think I'm going to send them on to the back door. So they're going to go in from there. They're going in from uh, what I think is like the manhole or that basement. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, well, I don't really have somebody to send to you. Oh, son of a bitch. They're like lemmings. <laughs> his own reflection for an evil twin. God damn, I love the dark humor in this game. It really makes me laugh. Dozens of immigrants can gasoline cans broke into the public library, assembled a pile of books on Eastern Europe, and then set it, um, set fire to it. The room is filled with many visitors, including children. The perpetrators are in. Well, again, what what the hell can I do? I gotta wait for my officers to get back. Oh, actually, I should be able to send them on this one. There we go. Ah, damn, I'm short one. I thought I'd be able to complete that. I thought I had enough. Man with a bushy mustache has a teenager by the hair and is dragging him towards the blazing pile of books. You should know the communists wouldn't let you wear uh, that iron in your ears, but now you shall be a true citizen cleansed in the flames of orthodoxy. Unzip your trousers. <laughs> really? Lemmings. Lemmings. Jesus Christ. His students are hopeless. Yeah, you tell me that every goddamn day. Fuck you. You take the drunk. Did I say the Museum of Feelings and Fine Arts? 
Yeah, oh my god, how have I never noticed that? Oh, that's awesome. Let's see here. Uh, we received an anonymous tip. Some criminals have set up a counterfeiting printing operation on the top floor of an apartment house. Our sources uh, alleges that there are armed guards there around the clock. Send those three in SWAT. Should be enough. Personally, I think our gal uh, gallery's uh, building is a jewel of the city, but not everyone shares my feelings. The other day, we were visited by Mayor Rogers' people. Uh, they brought in a huge amount of building materials and hoisted them up on the roof. Now it's impossible to get up there. I called Rogers personally, but the mayor said uh, that while the gallery is living off money from the city, I don't have a say in the matter. The building materials are the mayor's uh, nephew... Uh, are for the mayor's nephew, a student architect. He wants to build some sort of observation deck right on the roof of the gallery from which you can look into the future of modern art. What an awful sense of taste that man has. Okay, so we can't get up onto the roof of that building, which we're not planning to. We're planning on using the courthouse. Uh, yeah, we're using the courthouse for our snipers. 311A in progress. Fight broke out at uh, Mrs. Murin's weekly book club meeting. And they should be able to handle that. I don't, I don't have anyone to send you. I mean, I can send the drunk, but that's about it. Two men are wrestling on the floor. One of them is beating the other with a thick Dostoevsky volume, uh, shouting Fyodor Mi oh, God, Mikhailovich, I don't fucking know, invented existentialism long before your stinking s <laughs> the fuck use the pepper spray. How the fuck do you not complete that? You people suck! <laughs> He's right there. You use the pepper spray. Mission complete. <laughs> Idiots. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll keep using the word that I've been using. Lemmings. All of you. A patrol car was chasing a speeding vehicle through the city. The suspect refused to stop despite numerous demands. During the chase, the police car was pushed off the road and was unable to continue the pursuit. Today we're celebrating... Well, I don't have anyone to send you, so screw off. Yeah, well, that's fine. He was getting fired anyways. Really? Undressing beautifully, not art, just business. Ooh. 
There we go. Get some some points back, but still all my cops are pretty pretty inexperienced right now, so most likely a few of them will just die on the way to driving somewhere. We are concerned about the low effectiveness by specialized authorizing inspectors. Go, money, go. I wish there was a way that I could, you know, like, select the actual amount I want to put in there. I'm going to keep about 10 grand. But hide the rest. There we go. Yeah, take my money, assholes. Hired everyone we could. I mean, you know, it's fine. They'll be dead in a week. 11, 11, in progress. Stephanie Aguilar was going to visit a friend, but opened the wrong door and walked into the adjoining apartment where she found serious drug lab. They were all unconscious, according to the elderly woman, apparently smoking angel dust or glue somehow. I think they didn't even notice me. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, all the guys who are coming back are gonna be coming back from like a. Uh, let me get. They're they're gonna be uh, coming back from a false alarm, aren't they? Oh, great. Uh, I don't know where the children come up with their ideas of fun, but at uh, night they climb onto the roof of City Hall, bring picnics, and make out with each other right in front of our blessed cathedral. Last month, one of the uh, students walked over a rotten section of roof and fell inside. Luckily, that, uh, that part of the City Hall has been under renovation for the past six months, and it was filled with soft materials, which broke his fall. But this is definitely some place you need to look into. go Mr. Boyd I'm the manager of a big star uh, manual uh, Tori Blanca a big star with a big problem uh, well woke up today hotel room dead groupie in the bathroom blah 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 Well, I don't have anyone to send you, so. Fantastic. So 
Sorry if it seems like I'm speeding this up, but I mean, it, at this point, we all know what the street crime's like, and it's just, let's just get to this, um, assault. Driving into the and the driver is just sitting in the car singing a song. He's an awful voice. I think he's drunk as a skunk. That's about right. Really? 20 grand? I help you dispose of a dead body and you get me 20 grand. There you go, happy. Eh, he's just dead. Why not? Uh, I congratulate our graduates. Gallery of Modern Art hosts suicidal <laughs> artist Sigmund Hammerling. All right. Just get through all this, and yeah, surprise, not surprised. A uh, man is driving a buggy along the beach, knocking people over. Eyewitnesses say he's laughing like a lunatic. Out there alone, there's two of you. Cowards. Uh, some parents have gathered outside City Hall. Their children have all been diagnosed with... I'm not even going to attempt that. A rare genetic disease. Blah, blah, blah. Well, not much I can do then. There we go. So we can send him to that one. Just that mass unlawful assembly. Can't do anything. Sorry. The buggy is rushing straight for the patrol car. Duh, shut off the tires. There you go. Hey, we got cocaine. Fantastic. Mr. Boyd, we've just received some disturbing information. Port management hired a gang of thugs to teach our top union officials a lesson, hoping we'd back down in negotiations on the new port worker contract. Our sources have informed us they're planning to catch us one by one and, so to speak, persuade us to change our position. We need protection from the remainder of the negotiations. Could you blah, 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 blah. I have five people to send him. How many do you need? You need six. I just don't. I, I don't even have that many officers. Uh, Grover reports he overheard hysterical neighbors fighting. Uh, Uh, 
All right, let's see here. Uh, recently, it seems like City Hall has been preparing for an invasion. All the flowers were getting trampled, so Mayor's, Mayor Rogers told me to move the main garden over by the back door. I was working there when I heard an important guy, a retired general or something, saying that a competent commander um, covered by a couple fighters could get through the back door and penetrate into any part of the building, so there's no point at all in the whole central security system. Uh, then he calmed down and said nobody knows about the back door except people who are supposed to know, and they all went for a drink. Okay, so yeah, I think putting my, my team leader back here was a smart move. Now, you know, only if this, if this, um, whole assault thing will ever actually happen, uh, on the eve of the premiere of the long, uh, long, uh, God, yeah, I just, uh, I just don't care. I mean, I, I'd care more if my officers could stay alive and, and I could actually do shit, but I keep I keep sending people places and failing, so what the fuck's the point? It's like I said, I just kind of want to get to the, get to this assault. Because we've been leading up to it, and I'm like, okay, I think I've got everything the way I want it to go. Let's just get to the goddamn thing. Jeez, I don't get why sometimes they go fast, sometimes they just they go at such a freaking snail speed. Yeah, you guys should know there's no point in calling for backup. I've already given you everyone I have. And why do you call for backup when you don't need it? Uh, his lawyer, Paul Herg, who's exited his car, he knows some menacing guys painting a swastika on the parking lot. Uh, it looked like one of the guys had a gun in his belt. If you arrest them, give them my number, I'd be happy to represent them. Of course. Literature teacher, Mrs. Grunderson, noticed a uh, trace of white powder in the backpacks of some of your students. Nah, I, 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 don't, I don't think that one's gonna be... I don't think that's a real one. Haha, I called it. Okay, well, I need to wait for my guys to get back. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can do because I don't have anyone to descend. I have a guy. Because the other two idiots somehow get themselves killed. Four 
I mean, I mean, what have, what do have I call these guys? Lemmings. I mean, I get it. Their professionalism is extremely low, but what's not my goddamn fault? It's because I'll keep fucking dying. Oh, thank God this day is almost over. I'm serious. I, I want... I, I... Okay, the assault will happen at night. Make sure everyone... All right, there we go. Sure, let's begin this assault. Mr. Boyd, I will not bore you with praise. You know full well uh, how fine a job you've done. I'd rather take advantage of this opportunity. We so rarely write letters in touch upon what we've never dared speak of in person. Miss Lana Berman, I know that what I did must have hurt you. I once told you that I feel no pleasure in, su uh, in suffering of others, and I was not lying. So please do not imagine I am prone to vile whims or would ever attack you so personally. You know why I had to do it. I imagine that's why you never brought it up. I understand this morning Kevin Paulson is taking your place. I already have a plan to get rid of him, but tomorrow you'll just have to look on in silence as he mismanages the police department. I imagine this will be unpleasant for you, but your torments will be short-lived. By day's end, I'll send you a note describing how we are to proceed. Sincerely, EC. Mayor Rogers resisting arrest, killed in armed standoff, Freeburg coup d'etat, Freeburg police storm, city shoot, uh, Stuart Rogers killed in shootout. Didn't he say that I was, uh, that, you know, I'm technically getting replaced? Something? Hey, Jack, do you mind if I take Stet's office? Your office seemed a little ratty. No offense, Jack. Jack, I don't mind the broken nose, Jack. I know you were just upset. Hey, Jack, talk to me. Jack. Jack. Do you want to get punched again? How the hell do you have this many officers?
God, man, this music is absolutely perfect for this game. Though I do kind of wish that they could speed this up a little bit, especially since we just kind of have to sit here and watch. All right, uh, Mr. Boyd, ever since we first met, you have filled my mind with questions. Will we ever have a meeting of the minds? I doubt you share many of my ideals, but I never doubted your intellect. And by now, I have little doubt that you, an intelligent man, have already figured out that I can't possibly keep all my promises. Your time is up, Mr. Boyd, even as mine is just beginning. I suppose it would be unpleasant if, come tomorrow, security ejects you from the building. We are better men than that. I ask that you be gone from the police station by dawn. As for the other part of the deal, not to worry. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't let you leave empty-handed. In this bag, you will find enough money to last you the rest of your life. Thanks. A buck. Oh, fantastic. That's funny. How can I help you, sir? Uh, I just want to go in. Excuse me, sir. Only members are allowed into the club. Don't I look like a member of the club? I'm sorry, sir, but the club is not accepting new members at this time. <laughs> what are you, brand new here? I'm an old member of the club. I've been a member for 30 fucking years. I'm sorry, sir, but I think you've made a mistake. Have a good evening.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, I don't know what's up with the uh, the counting, but uh, all right, guys, there you go. There was the end of this is the police, just as depressing at the at the end as it was really in the start. And, which actually, I kind of like that. I kind of like how this game really was never very upbeat. It was really it's always kind of it, even its sense of humor was really dark. I I really I generally and I thoroughly enjoyed this game. Um, and honestly, I, I, we are going to play the sequel at some point in time. The entire point, the um, the only trouble with that is just it's finding a time exactly to do it. Uh, but we will do it. The the sequel still keeps um, the the same sort of gameplay that we saw in this one, in which uh, you know you're sending cops out to do certain missions, but your cops are also used in tactical engagements, similar to like XCOM style combat. It's actually really cool. Um, so we will, uh, like I said, be playing that game at some point. And hell, I'll even play probably play Rebel Cops sometime, which is the kind of the spin off to this game. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I'd score this game an eight. Uh, I think the, how to put it, I, I think the only thing that really holds this game back, that really holds this game back is its pacing. It's really slow at times. I kind of like that monotony, but I, even you were seeing it a little bit there at the end that I was starting to go, okay, come on, let's get to the point. Let's finish this. Uh, but overall, I, I really enjoyed this, and I hope you guys uh, also enjoyed this game all the way through. So, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, there's tons of other Let's Plays going on on the channel, so please go check those out. Um, as always, Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links that stuff is down in the description below. Like, comment, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, other than that, stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name is AJ Gels, the 7th Game Channel. For the last time in This is the Police, I'm out.